because the cylinder on the lift has blown out, we're going to have to use the forklift to safely get the car off of the lift. It's making a little tiny stream. Yes. So we need to get a cap tomorrow then. Um, guess we could do it like this. Maybe stop the mess enough to have a little spray. And see if that'll do it. So we're trying to block off the broken cylinder so that the other cylinder can lift the car off the lock so we can safely lower it to the ground. Here's where I need your help. What do you need me to do? need you to hold this. It's going to come down. We have the car safely on the ground, and we have one cylinder that will definitely need to be repaired before the lift can be used again. This is what the gaskets look like on the cylinder that blew out on the lift. Dad has repaired that cylinder and we're getting ready to replace the gaskets in the second cylinder. Okay, I'm taking this off so I can raise the lift without raising it, without filling the cylinder I need to repair full fluid. And also, it allows me to get it out easier and see if both sides will come up. coming out over here <clears throat> see right there yes watch as I turn it see how that comes out yes so hang on to it now and there it is <coughs> take the cap off so I can get on this fitting to remove it
seals are old and rotten. Coming all apart. Okay. <clears throat> you see how rotten that one is? Mm -hmm. Yes. coming out in fragments. This is a backing spacer. It kind of acts like a spring underneath it that holds it out tight against the, the surface of the barrel. So you put that on and this goes over the top of it. Pretty good material to withstand what it has to do. There we go. Snapped in place. Now we just gotta put this seal on. There we go. Like so. And then I'm going to get this turned. With that slot on top. So right there is where it grabs it. So you line that up, see the little slot there, notch. Line that up. And then we take our retaining ring, we stick it right down in there like that. And, and then turn it right in, that locks it up. Pulling it in. The wrench is covering it. You watch how it's pulling that in. Yes. And I just go around until it gets it all the way in there. Like so. And then back on. Then we put this back in.
Okay. use that flood too. Okay. There's air in it so it'll jump as it's filling. I'll have to run it up and down a couple times to get all 